As you write the letters to your recipients, you will soon realize that there is only so much room in the house to lay down the inked envelopes flat while waiting for them to dry. There are products such as wooden drying racks available for you to purchase, but if you're not addressing envelopes that often, the cost of the drying rack could be another burden. No worries, we can simply make one with materials that you may already have. To make this paper drying rack, you will need two thick 8.5 by 11 sized papers. Here, I am using color card stocks that I purchased from Michaels. It can be any color, but I have chosen a simple gray so that it doesn't stand out too much when I later take photos of the final envelopes. We need a ruler, pencil, tape, and a scissor. Get one sheet of paper ready, and on the short side, measure and make a light tick mark at 1.5 inch, 0.75 inch, and 0.75 inch. Now, repeat making the same 6 tick marks on top of the paper as well. Connect the dots vertically. You'll end up with 6 lines, 3 lines on the left and 3 lines on the right. Now, on the long side, make a light tick mark in an interval of 1 inch. If you're falling through, you will make 10 tick marks along the vertical line. Repeat making the same 1 inch tick marks on the right side as well. Connect the dots horizontally. These 10 lines will be where we will cut with a scissor later. So, I've only made the connecting lines shorter rather than all the way across the page. This is what your pencil marks should look like. Make a fold like this so that you make a small triangular mountain. Repeat on the other side. Now that you have the two mountains ready, fold and hold on to the paper so that the mountain peak becomes flat. Using a scissor, cut along the 1 inch marks. Only cut until the edge of the folded line. Same goes for the other mountain. Make 10 cuts. Now, cut about 2 to 3 mm off and chip away smaller triangular shapes. Repeat on the other side, but make sure that you chip away in the same direction as the first side. These small triangular shapes will provide space and act as a subtle angle when you insert each envelope to the drying rack. The inside paper of the drying rack is done. Bring another sheet of paper and make a small tick mark at half an inch on both edges. Do the same on the other side and connect the tick marks with a line. You'll end up with two lines on the edges. This paper will act as a base for our drying rack. Flip the inside paper and apply an adhesive of your choice. I have applied the roller tape on four edges of the paper. When you're done with the glue, turn over the inside paper and align it to the half an inch line on the base paper. This step is just to secure the inside paper, so it doesn't have to be super perfect. Just make sure that the mountain peaks are about the same as each other. The drying rack is completed. Test it with your envelopes. It's space efficient, sturdy, functional, and easy on your wallet. It can also accommodate various sizes of the envelope. Plus, you can make as many as you would like. I hope you also have fun making this DIY drying rack.